So into this video we will learn how to do a process statement and we will learn it by creating a dlatch on the basis3 FPGA board. So first let's open Vivado, create project, next we give it a name, process statement, next, next. Of course, I'll choose the FPGA board basis 3. Next, finish. Okay. So now let's add sources, add or create design sources. Next, create file. We'll give it a name, top. Okay finish. So now we need to declare the input and the output ports. So we have the in, which is the input, the enable signal, and the, the out, which is the output. Okay. So now we can open the top.vhd file. So now we need to declare our process. So we have process1, which is the name of the process. We have process. So here we are uh, declaring the sensitivity list, which is a list of signal which trigger the process. So we have the in and enable begin so we have if enable is equal to one we have the out equal to the in So we have and if and process. So we missed the then. So control S to save. So now we can run the synthesis. Okay. So remember always that inside the process, the statements are sequential. So now in design runs, we can check the status of the synthesis. So we can open the synthesized design, okay. So now in IO ports, we need to connect the ports of the top level to the actual pins of the FPGA board. So we have the first input port, which is the in. We'll connect it to the first switch, which is R2. The standard is LVCMOS 33. So then we have the output port, which we'll connect to the first LED, which is L1, the standard always LVCMOS 33. And then we have the third input, the enable, which will connect it to the second switch, which is T1. Okay, the standard LVCMOS 33. Control S to save. Okay, so now Ivado is creating the constraint file. 
okay so now we can generate the bitstream of course Vivado will relaunch the synthesis so now we can close the synthesize design always in design runs we can check the status of the synthesis and of the implementation so we have an error we can view the messages so this error is flagging a suboptimal routing connection between an IO pin and a buffer this is because this IO pin is not a clock capable pin but we don't care so we can write this command set property clock dedicated route false get nets enable ibuff in the constraint file so we can copy message we can go to sources constraint so we can open it okay so now we can control s to save and we can regenerate the bitstream of course Vivado will relaunch the synthesis so in design runs we can check the status of the synthesis so the implementation is finished so we can open the hardware manager okay we can turn on the FPGA board so open target auto connect so Vivado is connecting to the FPGA board so now we can program the device with our bitstream top punto bit program so now we have the first switch which is the D in port and the second switch which is the enable port so of course if we switch on the first switch the LED doesn't turn on because we need also the enable signal so if you see if we switch off the enable the LED continues to be on So as you see, the out is equal to the in only when the enable switch is switch on. So thank you guys for watching this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook.